Well, got another uh, got another repair I got to do here on my John Deere. Noticed, uh, spotted it out. Just gonna cut some grass and oh boy, he was making a one heck of a racket. That uh, you know, every time I'd take my foot off the brake, not not even moving, but just taking my foot off the brake, it just making this horrible racket. And so, kind of put two and two together and. And at first, I just thought it was my drive belt off, but um, yeah, the mower still moved. But so I got to looking, and what appears I have done here, I'll get a light here so you can see. But I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a pulley. You can kind of see the belt there, and those little ribs that kind of angled. Well, that's supposed to be a cooling fan for the uh, hydrostat transmission on here. <laughs> yeah, and apparently, I don't know why, I'll figure it out when I get in there. But apparently, I have knocked every single one of these blades off this cooling fan. Um, just driving it in the shop here, just from the thing here in the racket. Um, got all these old blades all over the ground. So, called up my local John Deere parts depot. And uh, $13, got another one of these fans here. So. Yeah, that's it right there. And uh, I want to try, try to just see if I can do it through this hole. I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm going to take that bolt out. And uh, maybe I have to take this tire off. And just keep digging to it till we get to it. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it ain't that bad. Well, there you can kind of see a better idea of uh, what I'm talking about. And, yeah, I just took the wheel off. I had this bracket here that sits just right in there on top of that pulley. And uh, it's got this bar here, and that's what this bar's job is to do, is to keep this belt from falling down into this fan, All right? Because, I don't know here, when I hit the brakes, that belt loosens up here. Right, and it actually gets slack right now. The brakes aren't on, but you know, you can hear the tensioner. But anyway, when this belt gets slack when you hit the brakes, um, without that bar, this would just fall down into the uh, fan, which appears to be what it did. I don't see anything in here for it to snag on. These wires are plenty up out of the way, and uh, and everything. So, next thing I got to do is there's a snap ring right here on top. And hope this pulley will come off. If not, maybe I can get a pulley puller shoved in there. I got a small one. Maybe it'll fit. Um, and then this this fan assembly should come off. I slip the new one on. Be done. This might be a one-hour job. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll continue on and fill you guys in. Yeah, another thing here. I just went in and set the park brake on it, and you can see how loose this belt is. Um, everything was routed right, so I don't know how the belt got down into it, but uh, it's pretty clear what happened. Um, you know, I was pulling, pulled one blade out of this assembly. It was kind of wedged up in here. Um, you know. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to show you what that looked like there. That, that's with the parking brake on. So, pretty loose. I have to do that to get this belt off. See that just pops right off. Now I can get my snap ringer in there and unsnap some ring. Alright. Well, I probably should have just shot all this as one video. I probably got all of ten minutes, maybe. <laughs> and most of that time I spent looking at this. So yeah, this this you know, my lights in the way. But yeah, pretty pretty easy to get all that off. Um, took like no no effort. Probably get it put back together one handed here with you guys watching. I'm gonna get my belt caught in it. Oh, that'd be funny. Yep. Let me get my 
snap ring here. Oh damn, I need some practice at this. This whole filming and doing work crap. This ain't working for me. There we go. Alright, well, that was simple enough really. And this belt just goes right back on top. Just like that. Pretty damn simple. And then, yeah, yeah, I'll show you. Kick the brake off. see yeah, it's all back together yeah so now about two and a half minutes later I'm gonna have these other two parts bolted back on it's it's not realistic for me to have it running with you in my hand here um, I need a tripod or something but yeah I'll show you when it's all done It's easy enough like I said that took me all it was literally these two bolts you see right here and that back one a little further to you that's just on top of this metal rod that uh, you see that metal rod that runs underneath that belt that's just a guide uh, like a, just keeps the belt from falling down in my nice new fan um, I actually thought that would have been missing or something I don't know no I still don't know why the belt got into the fan but it happened Put that back on. All I gotta do is slide this tire back on here. And, uh, and that should be about as simple as could be. So we'll get this tire put back on and go take her out for a test drive. Yeah, well, that, that really didn't take hardly any time. That was maybe 20 minutes tops. I spent most of my time taking that wheel off and on because it kind of seized on there. But uh, got greased up now. It'll come right off next time. Get my trash bucket hooked back up. We're going to fire it up here and see if it still carries on. Alright. That was when I took my foot off the brake that we had the problem. Well, that seems to be alright. bucks worth of part in about 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, piece of cake. So hopefully now I get some grass cut. Later, y'all.